So I know ordering wine at a restaurant can be sometimes intimidating. You've got a waiter hovering around you trying to kind of force you to make a decision and hurry it up. First things first, take your time when choosing wine. It's up absolutely up to you what you want to choose or what you want to drink. There is no right or wrong answer because at the end of the day, wine, just like food, is absolutely subjective. I've tried some really expensive wines that I did not like. So it really comes down to personal preference and palate. So I took four years of wine in college, so I know quite a bit, but I still don't know enough. You know, wine is something that is just so historical that so much science behind it and there's so much just know-how and histories. So I'm going to show you how to basically order wine at a restaurant. First things first, from a restaurateur's perspective, usually when you're ordering wine in a restaurant, you need to know that bottle costs about divided by four, divided by five sometimes, that price. So for example, if you're ordering wine by the glass, never choose the cheapest wine by the glass. Always go for the one that's the next cheapest because usually you're getting better value out of it because everyone wants to price their wine at a certain minimum. Next, what you want to do is also make sure that you know basically the grape varieties and the grape regions. Wine is just a confluence and a mixture of so many things coming together perfectly by one person that has amazing know-how that's creating this wine. So a good way to kind of shortcut that knowledge and to know what kind of wines you like is to remember the region and to remember what that region is known for growing and growing well in their wines. So today in front of us, I have a good variety of Australian wines. Australian wines are kind of just coming up in the world and people are really taking notice of them because they give such great quality for such great value. And one thing that I absolutely love is that they all use twist cups. There's a huge kind of debate in France of whether you should still use cork or even if cork has an effect on wine and it's still very highly debatable. But I love twisty tops because it's just easier and it's more convenient. You, have, you don't have to go around with a bottle opener. So I'm gonna go through the many regions of Australia and basically what you should look for and what great variety you should look for from that particular region. So we're gonna start with a wine from the Barossa Valley. Australia is really known for its Shiraz. The Barossa Valley is a warm area which produces Shiraz that is rich, deeply flavored with fruit and spice characteristics. And this is great with steak, barbecued meats, and cheese boards. Next, I've got a beautiful Riesling from the Clare Valley. So this region produces a Riesling with really strong lemon, lime, apple, and pear flavors. Um, this is really great with just seafood, shellfish dishes, and actually really tasty with Thai and Chinese cuisine as well. Next, we have a Cabernet Sauvignon from the very famous Margaret River Valley. So the Cabernet Sauvignon from this region is really nice and fruit driven, it's quite bold, and these wines are great for lamb, beef, pasta with rich sauces, or even some bold cheese. Then if you're looking for something from Riverina, the Sauvignon Blanc from that region is absolutely delicious. So it's a very bright and crisp wine that usually has a really kind of grassy green herbal flavor. It's great for Asian and Indian food and it's fantastic with seafood and appetizers. And finally, we round off our selection with a wine that's really just ordered a lot in restaurants and people's favorites and that's a nice crisp Chardonnay. So this one right here, comes from the Mornington Peninsula and it's absolutely beautiful. The Chardonnay from this area comes in different styles such as with fresh citrus, green apple, peach flavors. Chardonnay is just a really great all-around wine that's great with chicken, pork, fish, and pasta and creamy sauces. So what you want to keep in mind is where the grapes are from, how they're being grown, and what you like particularly in a wine and what you look for. So by knowing these regions and by knowing these grapes, you can put two and two together, look at a wine list and be like, all right, I know what kind of wine this region produces. So my personal favorite when it comes to Australian wine, I usually go for the Shiraz any day, first of all, red wine over white wine for me personally. But I usually hand in for the Shiraz from Barossa Valley because I'm a fan of really spicy notes and nice bold wine. So I hope after that you have a better understanding of wine. And I'm not gonna end this video by saying cheers. <laughs>